Hey everyone, welcome back. In this Postman tutorial, we are going to understand a bit more about the JavaScript object, JSON, and some of the methods that we'll be using very widely in the API testing within Postman. So the methods that we are going to cover is JSON stringify and JSON parse. And let's see why we need it, why JavaScript object that we have been learning till now, why do we need the JavaScript objects basically why do we need these methods so all of that is going to be covered very important lecture and post this you will be able to correlate and whenever we are going to do API test automation you will be able to figure out things very easily so this was the object right previously we had this object so let me do one thing I don't want to specify these details there okay and this was the object student object which has a sum of the values the key and value so basically name age etc year and there was a function that we covered as well now this is a javascript object now what is the relation between json and javascript object so json stands for javascript object notation right now in the initial videos i explained what exactly json is used for json is data interchange format that is basically used to transfer data from one application to other over the internet right so to communicate to transfer the data part from the applications over the network uh, so json is there xml is there so they are data interchange formats wherein the data can be exchanged over the internet because they are language independent right so json is language independent when i send a json file over the network to some other application which is say for example written in python right python will be able to understand that json or xml as well so that is why json is data interchange format if you haven't gone through the initial video go through that as well to understand more about json now javascript and json right so J javascript object notation is J json and javascript object is the object that we have been looking here at right now when we say json json is the object notation javascript object notation which will be used to transfer data okay now this is the object right now if i have to convert or if i have to make sure or convert this data the object data so that i can send it to the other application over the network so there is a method stringify right so basically json dot stringify so within javascript you will see that there is a method json okay so there is a json uh, and json is not basically json is a object right so same like we used to have this right so we used to access say for example student and dot dot you will see we are able to access any of the property okay or the method that were there within this particular object so similarly within javascript there is a object json which has the method stringify okay and we'll understand about the parse and stringify both so what stringify will do is it will basically convert this particular object say for example i want to convert this student object javascript object which is student right into the if you hover over here it will be converts a javascript value to a javascript object notation so the javascript object to a json file to a json string that can be used to transfer the data of this json of, of this javascript object to other application right now this will return something right so this will return a string so we can store it in a variable so i can say this is let's say student json okay i provided the name and let's print it okay so i'll say console dot log and then within there i'll say student json okay let's see what it prints in the console let me save it and open the console you will see now this is a json format okay so let me clear and send again now this is the string right so this is the method stringify that has basically converted what the con converted uh, the data that is there within this particular student object into a json string right now json format is within the curly braces and then you have the key and value that is within the quotes right so key followed by colon and the value followed by the uh, within the quotes as well similarly student age and then numbers can be without the quotes similarly the year so key value are within the quotes within the within the quotes right but here you will see that in the json in the javascript object it is not mandatory right so colon is there uh, the string is within the quotes but the key can be without the quotes as well okay so there is a relation between javascript object and json but they are not absolutely similar okay so 
Now this is the file that has been created and this is the JSON file that can be transferred to other application because this is a data interchange and when we say JSON is a data interchange, so it will only stringify. This stringify will only get the data that is there within the object, JavaScript object and not the function, right? Because function is the behavior within that particular object and you do not transfer or you do not need to transfer the function, right? Because functionality is specific to a particular application. When we are transferring, we can transfer only data that can be communicated from one application to other application, right? So that is why this function is ignored when we said stringify only the data part, which is name, age and year has been converted into the JSON format, right? Now why we are understanding this JSON.stringify, okay? So JSON.stringify we are understanding because sometimes when we are doing API testing, we need to, there, there will be some attributes within the API wherein you have to pass the JSON file itself okay the json say for example there is an attribute in the api wherein we just have to we have to pass this whole json within the attribute as a value then we have to use stringify so that it converts the json object into the json it converts the javascript object into the json file and then we can send that json in that api call right now when do we need the parse okay json dot parse the other important bit Okay, so say for example, let me take this Jira API Postman. Say for example, a get project. Okay, so let me go to the get project. And if I send this particular request, all right, you will see this particular response. Okay, this is the JSON, right? So this is the response, the response that we have got. It's 200. Okay, and it's showing me all the projects which is in JSON, right? This is JSON response. Okay, JavaScript object notation. This is JSON file. Now, here, I was explaining that when we have this student JSON, this is the JSON, right? Stringify has converted this object into the JSON file. Now, if I have to access any of the property of this JSON, say for example, let me clear this and send this again. Now, this is the JSON file, right? Can I go ahead and directly access the student age or student name from this JSON? Let's try doing it, okay? So say for example, I want to access the, so here I want to say, let's say I want to say student JSON from student JSON. I want to fetch the student name, okay, which is basically this name. All right, let's try to print it and see what will happen. You will see that it is undefined, okay. So what we have printed, we have printed this first, it printed the JSON, right? Then it is undefined. Why? Because student name, now this is the JSON file. Okay, and when we say dot notation or bracket notation, it is applicable in the JavaScript object and not on JSON file. Okay, so now in order to access the values within the JSON, okay, we first have to convert that JSON file into the JavaScript object, the other way around. Okay, so previously when we say stringify, stringify is converting JavaScript object to a JSON file and parse, JSON dot parse will parse the JavaScript or sorry, parse the JSON into the JavaScript object so that you can perform some action. You can basically fetch the values using the dot notation or the bracket notation which we understood, right? So that is where the parse is used for, okay? So what we can say is we can use the same object JSON and then you will see there is a method parse as well, okay? So let me minimize this and I'll say JSON dot parse. Okay. And what we are parsing, we are in order to parse, you need to pass on the JSON to parse, right? So a valid JSON string needs to be passed to parse that particular JSON. Now, because we have converted this or we have used a stringify to convert this JSON object into a JSON, uh, convert the JavaScript object into a JSON. So we can pass this student JSON, right? Which is a valid JSON file and then what this will do is it will convert this into a JavaScript object. Okay. So I can say I can also then store this into an object. I can say student obj a variable student obj and then store this particular parsed JSON. Okay. Now this will become an object JavaScript object and now on this JavaScript object I can perform the dot notation or bracket notation to fetch the value. Okay, so if I simply now use this student obj, okay, and before that, let me also print this JavaScript object. So we will say console.log 
and then print that object and we'll see the difference between the json and javascript object on the console right so let me send this and let's see the difference okay maximize now you'll see me clear again send it again so you'll see this is json right now this happened when we converted a javascript object using json.stringify into json next we did parse right when we so we parse this particular json okay into a javascript object and now you'll see this is a javascript object right it doesn't have these double quotes in the student student age etc right so this is now a javascript object now i can because this is javascript object now then i am able to then from that object fetch the value which was in the student name right so you will see this john is printed the name of the the name of the student has been printed right so this is the basic of the stringify and parse and why you need to understand it because in api testing within postman you will be using this day in day out understanding of stringify and parse is really important and it's very basic it's not tricky it's not you know something that you have to write a lot of code basically you just have to say i just want to stringify or create a json string for a javascript object then you use stringify okay and that will create a json all right json that json you can use in the api in the body if there is any attribute that is requiring it now the response is mostly json okay when when we say get project copy right now this is the json file now in order to fetch or validate any of these values say for example first what we have to do is we have to convert this json into what into a valid javascript object and then we can go ahead and validate the values out of it okay so we'll understand more about this real request and both of those methods in the next video so that's all for this video on json.stringify and json.parse and whatever we have learned till now about the javascript object the correlation and how we are going to use it in the api so that's all i hope this was helpful thank you very much for watching